So what's going on guys, Kade is here and welcome back to a brand new video. For today I will show you everything that you need to know as a new player in Plague Desert Online. So first of all we will take a closer look at classes and we will see which ones are the best and easy to play. Then we will adjust our UI and settings so you would get the best performance possible. And then later I will explain how to level up fast, how can you unlock more skills, upgrade your gear and much more. So if this sounds interesting to you then let's get right into it. So then moving over to the classes and here we have a lot of options to choose from. But just quickly before we start, we want to select our server. And the best option for new player is to create a seasonal character on a season server. You can create one season character every few months. So if you already did this, then the second best option is to play in the novice only server. But if this is your first time playing this game, then create a character on one of the seasonal servers. So then afterwards when you are in the class selection, we need to understand what exactly makes a good beginner class. Black Desert Online Combat is very in depth, as well as each individual class. Some classes are more complicated than others, but also require a lot more effort to use. And all of this we can calculate by APM, which stands for action per minute. Some classes need a lot of input from your keyboard and mouse in order to bring out their full potential. So when starting off in BDO, we want to start with a very low APM class. There is absolutely no drawback in playing multiple characters and classes, because you can easily re-roll and transfer your progress from one character to another one. So if you start playing one class and if you decide you want to play another one, then Black Desert Online actually encourages you to do that. So then with that said, for our first best and beginner friendly class we have the Corsair. This is one of the newer classes that has bunch of mermaid skills. She is one of the most fun and powerful PV classes in the game. She can ride waves and slide to her enemies with sharp moves or launch herself for devastating damage. She excels at close quarter combat, as you would expect from a pirate and even her ranged attacks will move you in the middle of your enemies. Moving around with Corsair at the start can be quite tricky, but when you get used to it, she is the best and most fun class in BDO. Then for the second choice we have the Sage. This class has amazing animations. He can do insane amount of AOE damage and this class is powerful at all stages of progression. So the Succession and the Awakening have distinct differences in their playstyle, but both of them are really good for beginners. They have large AOEs, great mobility and insane damage. Like I said, this class is really good at all stages. So early grinding, mid grinding and then the full end game, which consists of PvE, 1v1 small scale PvP and even large scale combat. He is one of the rare classes that can be put into any scenario and he will be able to perform. And then for my last and final recommendation we have the Guardian and this class is the most recommended by almost all endgame players. As I've said, Black Desert Online can be very complicated, especially at the start. And for most classes you have to learn the DPS rotation and basically put a bunch of hours just to be able to play the class, but not the Guardian, because he's the exception. This class doesn't have a lot of skills and you basically only need to use 3 to 4 buttons for the whole damage rotation, because Guardian has something called lingering animation, which makes that her skills are sometimes much longer than other classes. So for example when you click shift Q, you hit God incineration, that takes long time to do it. And then at the same time, on a different class I can go through an entire rotation. For example, Shikers can do 3 to 4 skills when Guardian just uses 1. So for that reason, Guardian is very good for beginner players. You get very low APM, which means that you have to put a lot less effort in spamming your mouse and keyboard buttons. So for example, again when I play on my Shiker, I usually do around 70 APM when grinding. But then on the other hand, with the Guardian, I do around 35 to 40 APM. So it's almost half the amount of effort for basically the same thing. Of course, Guardian is not a top tier class for damage, but she's very high up on that list with very little effort on your part. So overall, I would recommend to pick one of these three classes. And like I said, this game is very multiple character friendly. Most top tier players have about 10 characters. So these classes will be definitely amazing to experiment in BDO for the first time and to simplify your combat. So then moving over to the gameplay, and the starting area questing is very simple. You just follow the instructions that your Black Spirit Guide gives you and just right click on the objectives which sets an auto marker. And by pressing the T key, this will automatically take your character to the questing location. This feature is very useful to know for such a big open world game like Black Desert. 
So then let's take a closer look at the top right corner, where is our map located. So overall the minimap provides 4 useful pieces of information. Red dots are hostile enemies, orange dots are quest objectives, white squares are other players, and then the thick yellow lines are your current set auto path. I would recommend to get used to the minimap as soon as possible, because it will be helpful later down the line. Then as far as these white question marks go, these are NPCs that you haven't met and they won't give you quests, but you will still want to speak with them. So whenever you see on your way to the next quest a white question mark, just quickly speak to that NPC. Then as far as combat goes, the first few levels you should just get used to the class, and don't be afraid to just spam randomly left and right clicks to kill your enemies. So then moving over to the small feature which is the UI and how to fix it. Black Desert is an amazing game, but for some reason the UI looks very filled and messy. So here's what we can do about this. When you reach at least level 7, we get to adjust our UI. So then now we click on settings and click the small icon called switch to the old menu. And this old layout will make our UI experience so much better. So then we go into the edit UI and we want to turn off the skill guide, the skill log and the kill notification. Although this can be useful for new players, these UI settings are just useless and will get annoying very quickly. Then let's go again to the menu and to reduce our screen bloat even more, I highly recommend to click on the settings icon, then general settings, then alerts and here you want to uncheck all of these default options. Again, these settings are just useless for new players and only will get in your way. So then moving over to the leveling, and Black Desert Online will provide you with very basic main storyline. However, you must know that this game is very grindy, but don't let this put you off. Early on in the gameplay, you will see that this game has a lot to offer, and the so on called grinding aspect can be actually very fun. You will get very little combat experience from the quests, and they are more meant as a side activities to complete and for you to just explore the world of Black Desert Online. I highly recommend for you to just follow the main storyline, and it can get boring at some times, but it will teach you almost all the important mechanics that you need to know. Then just besides combat experience, you also gain skill experience. These skill points will allow you to unlock new abilities and combos for your class. The default button to open up the skill page is K, and the rule of thumb in BDO is just to unlock everything. The order in which you do it doesn't really matter, as long as you learn all the new skills as soon as they become available. About 85% damage from most classes come from one or two abilities, and a good example is the ninja class, which gets one of his strongest skills only at around level 30. So until then, spamming right clicks with random abilities is not that bad of a start. Don't worry if you feel weak while you're leveling, it probably just means that you still have a bunch of stronger abilities to unlock. So then moving over to Black Desert content, and this is one of the biggest reasons of why so many players play this game. So let me introduce you to a new catch-up mechanic called Season Servers. When you select a character, there are servers called Season Servers, which are special, that grant you special benefits like 100% more combat experience, higher loot jobs and much more. Only seasonal characters can enter seasonal servers. So that's why at the beginning I told you to create a seasonal character. You can create a new character every time a new season rolls around, which is roughly every 4 months. After some time you will be able to participate in PvP as well, but as a brand new player during the seasonal period, I don't recommend to do so. Then when we click on the season pass, it will open up your current progress in the season. One of the most important rewards will be from level 10, which will be a chest that gives you XP boost for about 30 minutes. However, I don't recommend to use it until you reach level 50, because from level 50 you will be able to grind specific locations and these XP boosts will be able to speedrun you through the higher levels. And then lastly BDO has as well battle pass type of system, where you can pay real life money and unlock a second category of rewards. If you really want to spend money, then this is the best place to do it. But if you want to be a free to play player, then this is absolutely not required. So then moving over to the gear in Black Desert Online, and the game really starts at the point when you get your first mount. From this point and onwards, BDO will be constantly giving you new gear, and this is the first step to upgrade your character. Eventually, when you complete the main story quest, you will get a full Naru gear for free, and as well a very important item for upgrading that gear called Beginner Black Stones. These stones are split into two categories called Weapon and Armor. This feature is very simple, 
you just use these stones to enhance your gear. So just open up the enhancement tab, select the stone and item and click enhance and this will power up your item. The main quests will give you a lot of these stones. So that's why it's very important to keep completing all the main quests that you can. Black Desert is all about efficiency per hour and this is very important part of the learning curve. Generally, you want to run around the best spots to grind monsters and just try to blow them up as fast as possible by utilizing all of your skills and combos. Levels mean very little in this game, so BDO is all about gear. So don't be afraid of any type of monsters, especially the red ones. Because unlike different games, these ones have really good chance to drop you good gear. Maximizing your Nehru gear in seasonal servers is your number one goal, so try to get to level 50 as soon as possible and then from here the endgame and full video experience will open up. So then let's go over to the energy, and this is the second best way besides just grinding mobs to progress in Black Desert. So by default you will be able to grind different monsters and talk to different NPCs, and all of these activities in the background will increase your maximum energy amount. By pressing the H key, here we will open up our energy page, where we can see all the things that we are missing. Sometimes you will need to spend energy to learn specific knowledge, but energy's main use in BDO is to gather life skills, such as woodcutting or mining. Each character has its own energy amount. So remember when I said that you will want to mid-max for the best efficiency per hour? Well, this is one of those things that you will want to efficiently utilize across different characters. In general, one energy regenerates every 3 minutes on an online character and then one energy per every account that is offline. You can find all the information that you need about life skills by pressing the P key and look in your life skill info. So then moving over to the last feature that you need to know for a beginner and it is the contribution. So here in the top left corner we can see our contribution points and if you played Lost Ark then this is basically the same thing as account level. You can only level up your contribution by doing quests and of course different quests will offer different rewards. So the main end game strategy is just to complete your daily quests in one of the big cities. Contribution is used to manage your workers and create trade routes between cities. However, this is a full endgame activity which I will make a full in-depth guide on in the next video. So overall Black Desert Online is super fun by just the fact of how many activities there is to do. If you are a full PvP player, then you have Castle Wars, Node Wars and 1v1 Arenas. Or then for PvE, you have grinding, life skills and much more. Gatherers can make as much money as rank 1 players who only grind mobs, so you can play BDO the way you want. And this game will reward you for doing anything and everything that you want. The grinding aspect at sometimes can get boring, so that's why I recommend to try out everything. So when you reach level 50, start thinking about making new characters, start doing some PvP activities, maybe even join a guild and that's about it. So with that said, I really do appreciate everyone for watching guys and I hope you enjoyed it. If you have any suggestions, feedback or other good Black Desert online builds or guides that you would like to see in the next video, then feel free to leave your comments in the comment section down below. And while you're doing that, please click like, subscribe and enable that notification bell. So this way you could support the channel and you won't miss any more amazing content from me. With all this said, you have an amazing day and I will see you in my next video. So take it easy. Peace. Yo, I ain't here for